India to get eye in the sky. ISRO's GSAT-1 to monitor India's force from the skies. Four days from now, India will launch its advanced eye in the sky. On August 12th, ISRO is slated to finally launch its most advanced geo-imaging satellite or GSAT-1. The GSAT-1 geo-imaging satellite is being hailed as the eye in the sky because of its potential strategic advantages. So, what is GSAT-1? GSAT-1 is an advanced geo-imaging satellite developed by Bengaluru headquartered space agency ISRO. The geo-imaging satellite provides vision from the skies which will help India bolster its vigil on its neighbouring enemies. Borders to be monitored from the skies It helps monitor the subcontinent and its borders with Pakistan and China. The satellite will image the country four to five times a day, which will provide India an edge and always be a step ahead of its enemies. GSAT-1 will be placed in a geosynchronous transfer orbit by GSLV F-10 and, subsequently, it will be positioned in the final geostationary orbit about 36,000 kilometers above Earth's equator using its onboard propulsion system. The Earth Observation Satellite will provide the country near real-time images of its borders and also enable quick monitoring of natural disasters. Another objective is to obtain spectral signatures of agriculture, forestry, mineralogy, disaster warning, cloud properties, snow and glacier and oceanography. Experts said positioning the state-of-the-art Agile Earth Observation Satellite in geostationary orbit has key advantages. A game-changer for India. With onboard high-resolution cameras, the satellite will allow the country to monitor the Indian landmass and the oceans continuously and provide warnings of a natural disaster. Launch delayed due to technical reasons. The 2268 KG GSAT-1 was originally slated to be launched from Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh's Nellore district, about 100 kilometers north of Chennai, on March 5th last year. But the launch was postponed a day before the blast off due to technical reasons. It was scheduled for March 28th this year, but a minor issue with the satellite forced its postponement. Launch expected in April and May delayed by COVID. The launch was later expected in April and then in May. The campaign could not be taken up due to lockdown in parts of the country triggered by the second wave of the pandemic. We have tentatively planned the GSLV F10 launch on August 12th at 5.43 am subject to weather conditions, an ISRO official said. ISRO's second launch of 2021 It's going to be only the second launch of the Bengaluru headquartered space agency the COVID-19 hit 2021.